Hey there, I'm Chef Bruce Brown, and I'm excited to get to share some great recipes with you today. Here at Bruce's Fabulous Foods in Marion, North Carolina, we prepare some of the most exciting dishes in the whole Southeast. Now my passion is wholesome, tasty, fresh cooked foods. I use only the finest local ingredients. Now today, thanks to Ingalls, I'm going to cook with you. I'm going to show you how to bring some fabulous and delicious meals right to your kitchen table. And today, we're starting out at Ingalls to get the ingredients for my holiday dessert dip. For a full list of all the ingredients, check out the shopping list underneath the video player. You can print the list and take it with you or pull it up on your phone when you're at the store. Now come on, let's go home and let's get cooking. Spinach artichoke dips, cheese balls, they're all kind of passe. You need something new to take to your next Christmas party, don't ya? I think you do. So today, I'm gonna give you a recipe for a holiday dessert dip that you can take, warm up in your host's microwave, and make it really, you'll be the hit of the party. So here we start. Have a nice glass baking dish. You don't need to spray it or anything that much because we're gonna microwave this dish. In my uh, mixing bowl, I've got 16 ounces of cream cheese. We're gonna get that started. I wanna get it kind of beaten up and smoothed out a little first. So I always start with the cream cheese and blend it up nice and smooth first. So you don't want little bits of cream cheese in there. To this, we're gonna dump in a quarter cup of brown sugar. Get the brown sugar worked in there. And one cup of peanut butter. I don't know about you guys, I love peanut butter. That's why this is one of my favorite dips. Now, I always stop the mixer to try to get the peanut butter in because you don't want to lose any of it and you almost have to like spray the side just to get it into the bowl and get all of it out. Beat this all together till it's smooth. Make sure to stop the beater and scrape down the sides. I do it just like that. Scrape this right directly into your serving dish. Now make sure that this is a glass, metal, glass dish, not a metal dish, because you can't put a metal dish in the microwave. Press it down all the way around, kind of get it in the corners. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to actually top it with a streusel topping, which we're gonna make next. Now, I hope you have a food processor because this makes it really easy. We're gonna start with one and a half cups of a good quality chocolate chip. Dump them in. And I also hope you can count to five because we're gonna pulse this five times. Not six, not four. Five pulses. One, two, Three, four, five. Now we're gonna dump in one cup of salted peanuts. Not the container, just the peanuts. And once again, we're gonna pulse this five times. Not four, not six, we're gonna pulse it five times. One, two, three, four, five, and one cup of coconut, shredded sweetened coconut. If you have a special coconut you like to use for other things, fine, you can use it. But we're gonna pulse this once again. And guess how many times? No, not five, we're gonna do it for six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a very light streusel here. You will see some of the chocolate chips still have a little chunkiness to them. Some of the peanuts are not quite ground up. 
That's what we want. We want some texture. Take it right off the top and just kind of pour it all the way around. Spread with your hand, just like this. And now, we're going to take it to the microwave. Now, if your microwave has power settings, this is where one of the reasons you have power settings. Two minutes in the microwave at 50% power. And we're going to take it out, see if there's any hot spots. Make sure that the chocolate chips are starting to melt and starting to blend in with the other ingredients. If it's not quite there yet, do it for 30 seconds at a time in addition to the first two minutes at 50% power. Here we go to the nuker. There we go, holiday dessert dip. Well, I like to serve this with graham cracker squares and banana wheels. So all you have to do is dip some out, put a banana wheel right on top. Your guests are going to love this because it's fresh, it's warm, it's chocolate. I mean, what else could you possibly do to make it any better? Peanut butter and chocolate, great combination. We're out of time for today, folks, but I want to thank you so much for joining me right here at the Ingalls Table. And remember, you can find this recipe, videos, photos, and a whole lot more on the website at ingallstable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online. Oh,